Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about goals and action steps related to your home or physical space. If you did not catch last week's video all about finance goal action sets, maybe you don't have a finance related goal and so you were like, I'm gonna skip that video, I would encourage you to quickly go watch the intro because I give a lot more background information on what this series is all about in that video. I'm not gonna repeat myself in this video. I don't want you to feel like saying the same thing over and over again if you are watching all the videos in the series. In short, these videos are a compilation of actual goals that our community has set related to whatever goal category it is that we're talking about, and then actual action items that community members have set, one time, weekly, and daily action items. So this week's category is home and physical space, which when I surveyed the community for ideas for these specific videos, 90%, over 90% actually had a home or physical space related goal. So this is a very, very common goal that a lot of people have and have something that they want to improve or change about their home or physical space, which is very exciting. Before I jump into the all of the ideas, I also want to make sure that in case you didn't watch last week's video or you missed the ending, that you know about the workshop that I am hosting in December. I am so freaking excited about this. I have I have done this in some capacity, some format for the last couple of years, but it's always been within the community. And this year I'm pulling it out. So we are doing a three-part workshop where you can get all all of your goals set up for the new year. It will, all of the prep work, all of the breakdown, all of the action steps, all of the things related to setting up your goals for the new year. We did a three-part workshop last year. Once again, it was inside the community. This year, I am pulling it out so anybody who wants to purchase and be a part of it is able to do so. Community members, your, I want your December to look the same. I want that continuity through the calls that we have every month now. Do not worry, you get a massive discount on the workshop if you are a community member. So make sure you use that code if you're within the community to get your discount. But anybody is eligible to sign up. It is gonna be three, the th first three Saturdays in December. I am teaching all of them live, but as always, the replay will be available if you aren't ready to set up your goals by then or you aren't able to attend those sessions live. I'm gonna leave all the information linked down below, but I just wanted to make sure that I mention it because I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I, I know that these sessions were so helpful for people last year. So I just, I'm going to keep mentioning it so that it's not like, Oh, I didn't hear about this because I haven't a lot with something earlier in the year. I got a lot of like follow up emails that were like, I didn't know this was happening. So I'm going to say it a lot. You might be sick of hearing me talk about it because I want to make sure that you know that it's happening. Let's get into home goals. So just like last week, we're going to start with the actual goals, the goals that people set related to their home, house, physical space. And once again, I compiled them into sort of categories where I grouped like things together, but you'll be able to see kind of the differences in goals that people pick, even within those kind of subcategories of home physical space. So the first one is cleaning. And so here were some of the goals that people set in that category. Get my apartment ready to hire a cleaning service, hire a cleaning service, clean out an extra room. So when my son moves home, clean certain spaces, either weekly or monthly. Some people got really specific and said, I want to clean this every single month, or I want to clean this every single week, have a cleaning routine in general, maintain the cleanliness of my home. I like that one. The next category that had a lot of goals that fell into it, which didn't surprise me at all, was declutter. So here were some of the decluttering goals that were submitted. Declutter my house in general, declutter specific rooms. So saying I wanna declutter the garage, I wanna declutter the basement, declutter spaces before moving, get rid of excess clothing, organize a specific room, organize my house in general. One person put to clean and organize a room and keep it that way. I really like that one too. The next set of goals all kind of fell into a feeling category related to your home. So somebody put make my home cozy, make my house into a home, create a home that makes me happy. One person, their goals, you'll, you'll see this theme in, in the, some future videos as well, put theirs kind of like in a sentence format. So they wrote, I take good care of my home and my possessions, create a space that reflected our family, culture, and passions. I love that one. Make my house less stressful and develop enjoyment in my house. I always love a good feeling goal. The next category was moving, which is a, another kind of common goal. It felt like a lot of us this year had that as a goal, but that kind of falls into that home category. So find a new place, sell my house, and then one person got very specific and wrote, move into an apartment 
I could make into a place that felt like home. It was kind of a combination of things. And then the last category, just like last week, is just kind of an other category, things that I felt like didn't fall into one of the previous categories or I couldn't really lump them together. But there are some underlying themes of like decor, remodeling kind of things. Work on our bathroom remodel. Implementation of better habits in a bigger space. I like that one. Finish making my daughter's baby books and they added clarification that that was a home goal because the space that it, like the things were taking up felt like a home goal as opposed to a like enjoyment hobby goal. Prepare our house for baby's arrival. Finish decorating the rest of the house. Complete more of our major home repairs. Improve specific home spaces and beautify house. I like that one too. Now we're gonna move into the action steps, the specific steps that people chose. Once again, these are just a list of ideas that you can pick and choose from. Take what you need. You may have to pause and rewind to write them down, but it's just meant to give you ideas as you start to think about your goals for next year. So here are some of the one-time action items that people set. Create a cleaning routine. Break down apartment by room, buy storage bins, buy a house, call for quotes, book a contractor, prep the space, pick the finishes. Some of these, like I don't necessarily know what that means. They probably knew exactly what they were doing when they wrote that step down. I would encourage you to get as specific as you can, but as long as you know what it means, that's all that matters. Clean a specific space monthly, clean out a specific space, create a list of house projects, rearrange a certain room, paint a certain room, build a certain piece of furniture, create a decluttering schedule, declutter one room, deep clean one room, choose a donation pickup service, schedule donation pickup service, define must haves, get a disposal bin, go to Goodwill, share plans with my spouse, hire people to put furniture together, I like that one, read a decluttering book, research resale site options, schedule time to declutter, sell furniture pieces, and create a home wish list. There are a lot of one-time steps in this category because there's a lot of different things that we all have related to our individual spaces. All right, weekly action items related to this goal. Spend a certain amount of time decluttering each week. I have said this time and again, if you have a decluttering or cleaning or one of those kinds of goals where you really do not know how long it's gonna take to, get, to do an individual space, I highly recommend that you schedule time, like you, you set your goals like this based on time. So you say, I'm gonna spend 30 minutes a week decluttering. You also can benefit from a list of all the spaces. That way when you finish a space, you do get to check it off and cross it off and see the overarching progress you're making on whatever space it is that you're decluttering. But scheduling time in your calendar based on time, not saying I'm gonna do this specific space. Because if that specific space takes you more time or less time than you allocated, it's gonna throw you off. So I, I really like that weekly action step. Continuing on, weekly cleaning plan, one hour of going through clothing, clean a certain area, floors, bathroom, etc. declutter one space, which I just explained why I don't necessarily think that's a great idea, unless time is not a constraint for you. Maybe for you, time is not your most valuable resource, like not your, well, I think it's our, everyone's most valuable. Maybe time is not your most limited resource and you have plenty of time on the weekends to work on your personal goals, then maybe declutter one specific space would work for you. Focus on one specific area, get one box out of the house, put laundry away, minimum baseline of chores, pick one area to clean out, Sunday reset, go to the donation center and wash baby items. And then the last section daily, just like last week, the daily section gets shorter because there's a lot of repeats. And for some goals, there's just not a lot of daily items that you could be doing. Also, we all have so many other commitments on our day, like in our day-to-day -day lives that it's understandable that we can't always have daily, big daily action items related to all of our personal goals. So the first one is clean for a certain amount of time in parentheses, five to 10 minutes. Like some people put five, some people put, put 10. Some people put more, to be honest, I would not recommend going to something much bigger than that on a daily basis. Again, unless you know that time is not your constraint and you would have the time to do that. Pick up for a certain amount of time, same things apply. Declutter for a certain amount of time, same rules apply. Daily clean items, daily laundry, daily tidy, don't buy anything new. Don't leave a space worse than I found it. I like that one. Reset kitchen. 
purge a set number of items per day, and go through storage bins. So those are all of the home related action steps. This again is a tougher goal because all of our homes are so unique, but hopefully some of these ideas spark some ideas for you as you break down a home goal that you might have. If there were any other action steps that you've set before related to a home or physical space goal that we didn't talk about, I would love for you to share those in the comments below. And it's kind of an overarching resource place for people to refer back to when they are setting their goals in just a couple of weeks. So that is gonna be it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please click that subscribe button. We have two more videos just like this one coming the next couple of weeks, as well as new videos every week focused on helping you achieve your goals. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry, I got distracted. Create a, sp no, that's not what it says. There's a, there were a lot of, we uh, that was wrong.